And here we are with a 2v2 in Dawn of War 2. Spawn top left side as the... Let's see now. As the Hive Tyrant, we have Vile Hero. Spawn on the south side as his ally as the Ravener Alpha. We have Critical 32. Trigger upgrade to a 64-bit. Spawn on the right side as the Lord Inquisitor. We have Fog. And as his teammate as a Plague Champion, we have a foreign name. I have a good feeling that... Uh, a noise blaster marine would be great because termagons termagons get annihilated by aoe weapons we do looks like i have some more termagons to be deployed now it looks like it's double termagons for both of the tyranid players and i really hate the fact that there's that uh tiered announcer i hate the tyranid announcer i absolutely hate the tyranid announcer Sentinel has been pointed out. No stomp should upgrade just yet. Chaos Marines push way forward. We got the Plague Champion in the mix as well. No stomp upgrade just yet. You can use the Hair Deck or the Plague Champion to repair up the Sentinel. A bit of team play there. Yep, Plague Marine. I thought he was going for repair. Guess not. Going for the Ritual now, which does not heal the Sentinel. Sentinel not being upgraded stomp now. We've got the uh, Ravener Alpha support in the high current. If you're a guard from charging forward, getting some repairs there on the Sentinel. Does stomp there to uh, stun the high tyrant. We got the uh, Plague Champion and the Ravener Alpha now engaged in melee. But mount support there by the Tyranids. I think the Tyranids will be able to win this engagement. But we do have the Hive Tyrant now falling on back as reinforcements are streaming on in by the Imperial Guardsmen. Lord of Quizzer will need to fall back. No point of having her go too far in. Does get a nice special attack there, however. Raven Alpha in the mix. Raven Alpha has already been upgraded with something. Let's worry about it a little bit later. We got the Plague Champion and the Council Mace trying to tie out the Termagons in melee. The Imperial Guards are trying to maintain their range. The symbol is very well healed up as the Raven Alpha pushes its way forward. We got the Chaos uh, Marines button upgrade, the Eternal War upgrade, so this double Chaos Marines. He's already lost his Heretic Squad entirely, so that's a bit of a shame. Guardsman has the same bit of fire there. Another Eternal War there. Ravener Alpha severely wounded. Ravener Alpha does go down. Close in the middle being upgraded to reinforce Chitin. Chitin. Since I didn't see that um, grenade slot, it looked like some sort of like miasma grenade of probability. Hormagons are down the southern side. And we got two synapse generators here. And oh yeah, this map is like one safe generator and that's it. So like a low power map, honestly. Which will make the teching very slow and energy consumption very important. Let's say Imperial Guardsmen are pretty low in power consumption when it comes to a lot of their heavy squads. Always for their upgrades for the primary squads like starting to upgrade and want to take the position. Stormtroopers are relatively cheap in energy as well. While Blazer pushes the um, defense power, that makes sense. There is a power generator up here as well. Only one generator at the moment. Does that enable the models there? Force them back to the turn of guns. We've got Ravener Brew to support up the Hive Tyrant. Oh, is there two power points very close? I mean, take a better look at the map. Ah, uh, yeah, this power point probably can be deployed out. It's a bit vulnerable, such as this power point here. Maybe I'll look at the map wrong. I need to look at the map a bit better. I never really have time to look at the map sometimes. The Chaos of Marines are seeing a bit of fire there. It does do a ability there. Need to look at the Hive Tyrant's upgrades. We do have the Rending Talons. Which grants a ooh, full squad wipe there. Loses a heretic once more. Rending talons. Yep, I can see both power points here. I just sometimes I look at the left. It looks like it's this power point and this power point. There's the power point, and they've got another one over here. So yeah, so there is two power points both sides. Good uh, flame reverse there by the Imperial Guardsman, but does have the hole nearby. One synapse generator does go down, but we do have a hidden weapons team. But back to the Hive Tyrant's upgrades, got the Ripping Talons, Grand Seismic Roar Ability with the Soul, and we've got the ex uh, Extended Compare Case, which does 
Knox back to deals uh, piercing damage in 7 seconds. That actually may have been ability to also got two close range uh, roars. And we've got the Toxic Miasma, which grants its basic uh, Poison Grenade and Reinforced Triton, which uh, slows you around the Gravener. Very nice. Imperial Guards are not falling on back, so is the Heavy Weapons team. Sentinels almost down. Chaos Raptor deployed on out. No more heretics. Maybe a good idea to just not go for heretics until he needs to just deploy them out shrines and rituals. When they eventually devolves into big battles in the center of the map. But honestly, against all the Termagants, Hormagants, I wouldn't I'm surprised we don't see noise marines and blast masters yet. Well blast masters actually quite quite understandable not seeing just yet, but noise marines, in my opinion, are pretty good. Raptors, in my opinion, they don't scale all too well. Of course, they're not upgraded anything yet, so just yet. We've got Plague Champion upgrade with Nucus Discharge, just gives them good AoE heal. And Field Trigger on Armor, Field Hit Armor. Grants Unholy Stitchability, which deals force of damage and 300 Courage damage every 2 seconds or 8 seconds of, around the uh, Plague Champion for 15 seconds. That's a pretty good suppressive uh, ability. Raptors pushing the way forward does receive that one of the Roar abilities. That may have been Seismic Roar. Grab an Alphard does jump on board, gains a great damage there on the Plague Champion. Chaos Marines, both been upgraded to look for a heavy upgrade of Eternal War, but no plasma guns just yet. Nor chain access. Sentinel gets a nice knockback there, knocking back all those uh, Termagons and Hormagons. Raptors are still in the mix of everything. Grab an Alpha trying to gauge these Imperial units. And the Warrior Brute's now falling on back. We've got the High Track now makes its way forward. Let's get a nice knock back there onto the Plague Champion. Over here, we've got a good damage there. Asper says, thank you. I, that's one of the Tyranid players. I think he may have lost a hero and revived him. No, no, he did not. That's sure what it plays this thank you for. Plague Champion has the private fire there. Needs to start charge. Probably not sure how much energy it takes. But Paul needs to utilize it to get some good healing. Sentinel still advancing, quite wounded, however, still. Tier 2 being researched by the Inquisitor, Lord Inquisitor, and the Ravener Alpha. Lord, the uh, Sentinel will need to fall back, severely wounded, and will be repaired up by the Plague Champion. Very nice. Up north, we've got the Raveners eyeing for a nice flanking run, perhaps eyeing for the DP. We've got Power Generators here, even one from the Plague Champion. Now I've got the Heavy Weapon Scene set on up. Probably best not to upgrade to an uh, auto cannon. Because against all the light units, I think that would be like uh, auto cancer be a bit better versus like the heavy vehicles and heavy infantry. Nothing against the force is light infantry. Sino does the not been fully been rare. Ritual has been activated trying to heal up these forces. And now we do have a Bane Wolf deployed. Now that should be very effective versus these light infantry units. Got a Venom Brood being pulled out now, which is going to be very useful in case that Bane Wolf. Sentinels are advancing as well. Bane Wolf's over here, getting some nice, uh, slow ability there. The Ravener Alpha will need to fall back really soon. The Sentinel does go down. And we got a Capillary Tower as well. Ravener Alpha has been upgraded to the Corrosive Destroyer, improved range weapon, for effects effect of infantry, but it also can be used against vehicles. As we increase the damage against vehicles by 50%, granted that's pretty good ability. Ooh. Former Gaunts do get ripped apart by the Flamers, and the Bane Wolf does go down. Let's see, grants the Curse of Shot ability, which simply uh, increases damage against a vehicle by 250%. So that's a pretty good mark target ability against vehicles. Hive Titan makes make its way forward. We've got Inquisitor, not Inquisitor Stormtroopers, regular Stormtrooper squad. And not going to be upgraded just yet either. So you may want to keep them unupgraded for melt guns eventually. Though, honestly, Hotshot Last Guns Frag Grenade wouldn't be half bad for all the light units as well. 
These must have been deployed off by the reds, right? Yeah, the Quister's out of red points, so they may have been deployed off by red points. But the Quister does get the nice stun shot there. And fresh hair tricks have been pointed out by the Plague Champion. All quests have been upgraded tier 2. The Quister has the most amount of resources at the moment stored up. Turn Rogan's trying to decapture this point, but they will get for far. They may not be even able to decapture off. They're in risk of being squad wiped. Yeah. They're. They do get squad wiped there. Ooh, I just really want to see a noise marine to blast that. The second stormtrooper is being deployed on now. Heavy weapon team getting ripped apart there. The heavy weapon team just get a move and wiped out. Stormtroopers pushed the way forward, got a plague cloud coming up forward, which would be very effective as these light units, an excellent AOE ability that rips apart these mass formations. Parmagons getting ripped apart by the stormtroopers, and does go down there to also the support of the Chaos Marines. Stormtroopers and Chaos Marines, those Hormagons will not last very long. The Tyranids have dropped a lot of forces, if you got another capillary tower which will be cleaned on up. And Raveners do push, jump their way forward. No Colmars are upgraded on these forces just yet, and we still have the Flamer on the squad as well. We do have a Brood Nest deployed on out, and we got the Ravener Brood tumbling forward, the advanced deep coil. That, they are camouflaged, they do get revealed there, you can see the red highlight. And I jump on top of these Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers need to start splitting, splitting themselves up, it does have the... the melee weapons on the Raveners. One of the Stormtroopers will get knocked back there. Lord of Quizzes trying to tie them up. A Hive Tower still being a tyrant in melee. Spitting for his name. And the Ravener proof is falling back but may get wiped out by the Heretic Squad. Will get wiped out by the Heretic Squad. Hive Tower is still in the mix but will need to fall back relatively soon. Regular Imperial Cars push them forward. More stormtroopers coming out by the Lord of Quizzer. She's saving up a lot of energy. She's going to have a lot of ranged firepower. There goes the high turn. And he's saying he's lost quite a bit. Could up the warrior group needs to be upgraded with the range suppression weapon, honestly. But they have a anti vehicle melee instead. But three stormtroopers. Jeez, that's a lot of stormtroopers. But that should be pretty good range damage, that's honestly. Gene Steelers have been pulled on out, we'll be falling back now. Got enough to fill your tower and a nice ritual there for health regen. Looks like the Raptors being upgraded, the Spiron Champion upgrade now. Another Brood Nest to pull it on out. And it will be cleaned up. Anti vehicle melees on the war bridge could do some good work in, but gets a nice knock back there with the Dreadnought. Does get to tie these guys up with melee with the Slanesh Pulse. I'm not sure how else to describe that. Any upgrades on these stormtroopers? They're all unupgraded stormtroopers. So both players going for tier 3. Uh, critical could pass not tech up. He has a lot of no, no. He should tech up while Valakir should not tech up. And he saves resources and deploy out three uh, ground forces. Stormtroopers, three stormtrooper squads are here. One of them has not got hot shot las or overcharged hot shot las guns. Two of them have as well. The last one is not being upgraded to anything at the moment. Raveners. Maybe I'm charging forward. Nothing there to spot them just yet. They're blue, so they're invisible. And we'll get a nice knock up there. Very, very nice. Stunning all these forces. We also got a ritual, a shrine, and a capillary tower. A lot of stuff being deployed on out. Raveners are falling on back, so staying quite a bit of fire. Warrior Brutes making the charge trying to have the Gas Rod not in melee. We've also got Rare Imperial Guard and Sword of the Sword Troops. All of them can upgrade with Hot Shot Laz or Overcharge Hot Shot Laz guns. These Storm Mines could do some great work. I know you can use a huge Storm Mines, but that could have been very, very good, but they does dodge in time. Flamers getting some great AoE damage there. The other Imperial Guardsman has not been upgraded yet either. 
anything as well. Could use some Kalamazar, could use another Flamer, honestly. But he does fly up nothing even for damage coming on forward. More Sinner Trainer is now trying to be deployed and under siege. We do got a Carnifex one now. Uh, melee Carnifex wouldn't be half bad. Then again, not so much, but I think Melee Carnifex would be the best uh, option right now. Now, casting fall back. This hero is down right here. Raveners. Get focused on way too much range firepower there. So many stormtroopers, so many chaos marines. And the Plague Champion also is useful as a, uh, as a medic. Carnivex not being upgraded in the moment. He does have to worry about the Chaos Dreadnought. The Chaos Dreadnought could be upgraded to anti vehicle weapon and made the best item for him right now. Gets a Carnifex. The VPs are currently just set to neutral. This point is not being captured up, and Termagon's going to be captured at that point. Another capillary tower. Carnifex is still at full health. We upgraded the Strangle Thorn Cannon. Oh, that's actually an even better idea than melee. I forgot about that one. That's at least seen upgrade for the Carnifex, I would say. And I guess all the Stormtroopers would be very, very good. Carnifex deployed on by, by both players. Now we've got heavy quote unquote vehicles. The shrine will get overran, of course. This point is being captured on up over here. We got the gene stealers stealing the genes of that power generator. Chaos Trinon's making spans. We've got Raptors charging on board. Does miss the Gene Stealers. And we've got the Zinch upgrade there on the Chaos Trinon. These Gene Stealers are probably a little bit too far forward, but gain some great health regen there. Stormtroops switching away forward. Carnifex fires. Getting good hit there on those forces. Stormtroopers are a good, juicy target there. Gene Stealers will get wiped out by the Stormtroopers. This Carnifex is not upgraded anything at the moment. A melee one wouldn't be half bad as well. So even the Venom Cannon wouldn't be half bad with the Bioplasma ability for some Light Artillery. Going, I think it may have stopped the upgrade there, now being re-upgraded with the Marcus Inch. Marcus Inch has been upgraded. Stormtroopers are storming forward. More Capillary Towers have been deployed now. See, the Ravener Alpha does have quite a bit of red points, maybe setting even up for a Tyranna formation. Let's see, the Fex is, a Carnifex is going to just stand next to their and exist. Perhaps, they're not deploying out a lot of anti, any counter units, that's for sure. Though the Lord of Quizzer has a lot of resource stored up, going for a Bane Blade of some sort, I'm assuming. Bane Blade. Chaos Raptors have been upgraded with uh, Plasma Gun, oh, not Plasma Guns, uh, Melta Guns. And Carnifex is still pushing some range damage in. This Carnifex has been upgraded in melee variant, so this is the melee, this is the uh, anti infantry. This gives some great suppression. I think he's forced to find the ground there to extend his range a little bit. Got the ritual being activated, gets some good health regen. Stormtroopers camouflaging forward, but do run out of energy. Nailing the Rippers. And the Lord of Quizzer is still in the mix as well. Lord of Quizzer is still unupgraded. I say there's a big miss uh miss with the Plague Champion with the the uh zombie sword, I'm not sure what's called to resurrect models in combat. Because there's been a lot of light units. He potentially could have got a lot of free models to explore all these engagements. Trying to make his way forward, no plasma guns or smart decisions or more of corn on his chaos marines. Does get out a melt bomb there with his raptors with the melt gun. Tying up the anti infantry one a little bit. Termagon's getting ripped apart by the stormtroopers. Stormtroopers are eyeing just to hit these infantry. The carnifex are having trouble being slowed down by that melt bomb. Tyranna formation being activated. This could annihilate the stormtroopers if it hits. No, it does not. But good damage all across the uh, 
Chaos Forces. It does take out that uh, Chaos Transfer Center gun. Warrior Bruce Archer on Forge, using the anti-vehicle melee weapons against the Dreadnought, but the Warrior Bruce can be annihilated. So we're going to push the way forward. We've got a Lictor to support out the Ravener Alpha. Does activate the ritual on the high ground. Needs a health regen a super smudge. It is the Bane Blade. Bane Blade. He does fall back for these forces. Rituals. Uh, hair to still very much alive. Can he heal on something? On the Chaos Dreadnought. The Alpha is trying to hit that Chaos Dreadnought. Former Gods are raining on in. Tying up the. Uh, Heretics does have to need one of the models here, but the Heretic needs to fall back. He needs a health regen and repairs for the uh, Dreadnought, and Heretics will manage to escape on out of there. Rippers, of course, get ripped apart. Their name is meant for the themselves and not their opponents. Yep, just a normal Bane Blade. Imperial Guards can get ripped the part. Hero Parsman don't actually get fully wiped there. Stormtroopers getting hit by the anti infantry weapon, getting some great AoE effects there. Stormtroopers may to escape on out there as well. We've got the down Ravener Alpha as well. It is the Bane Blade! I like Captain Diomedes voice, but luck, sadly, Captain Di most people go for the Gabriel Angelos Force Commander and not uh, Captain Diomedes. The main blade is a good general purpose one. Storm, the uh, the storm blade is good for reinforcements. While the storm, no, that's the storm, that's the plasma one. Storm war is a good uh, reinforcement one and good against infantry. But and the storm blade is great against mass infantry. But the main blade is a good general purpose one, which can be useful against card effects, as well as the demolish can hit the infantry. So it's probably the best one out of the group in this current situation, honestly, because they are lacking a lot of anti vehicle. Bane Blade starting to make its advance. Pure Guardsman still trying to hit this in these points here, but looks like one of the Pure Guardsman squads didn't get fully wiped there, so this one must stay alive and must escort the Bane Blade for repairs. We've got the Chaos Portal being summoned in by the Chaos by the Plague Champion. Carnifex charging on board. And one and the Xenotrope does go down. The Guardsman woo, hasn't been straight on back, not really wiping it all too well. The Guardsman squad does get wiped out, so we will need to file another Guardsman for repairs and rely on his teammate. Carnifex here will get wiped, potentially will likely get wiped out, getting hit by the Nova Guns and the uh, Dreadnought. And this Carnifex is also severely wounded, that's the anti infantry ones, so that's a great for the Bane Blade. Carnifex getting some great hits then, but the melee Carnifex will go down. The Bane Blade is charging him forward. And we also got a chosen Plague Marine squad. Maybe. The Molotov Cannon rolls in big mess there. Oh shit. The Termagons are getting severely wounded as well. These. Look at the, uh, maybe, but look how many ticks left the Imperial Guardsmen have left. Or the, uh, not Imperial Guardsmen, non Tyranids. The humans have. Not a whole lot of VPs. So it's still a VP game, it still can go either way, but we've got the Chosen Plague Marines here, which can get some free models in the mix as well. Heavy melee squad. We've got a Swarm Lord deployed now. Swarm Lord's an interesting option. This Carnifex is still alive, but severely wounded. The Tyranids do have some VPs to trade in for some time, but not a whole lot. Plague Champion starting to repair up the uh, Chaos Dreadnought. We've got a fresh Imperial Guardsman. Has been upgraded to Sergeant. Might as well get that. Don't necessarily need to get the Colmazar. That costs us energy. And the Termagon squad may get fully wiped there. Yeah, Termagon fully goes down there. Hive trying, trying to capture the point. I'm not so sure. What sort of shield ability is that's there? I think that's a global ability of some sort. He's not sustaining any sort of damage. But there you go. As the shield ability is wiping off, he gets fully killed.
Baneblade just set, it's now just deployed, going to camp this VP at all times. Maybe a good idea to get the Plague Champ to deploy out a heavy gun, uh, sentry gun. Maybe deploy out a shrine there with the Chaos Heretics over here. Stormtrooper trying to catch up at this point, very nice. And is that a Valkyrie run? That is a Valkyrie run. Distracting. And that's a double Valkyrie run in that same location. Wipes, nearly wipes the entire Termogon out there. Gets reinforced there by the Swarm Lord. Remember, Swarm Lord is a forward resource point for Tyranids. Good incendiary run there. I know Tyranids, you can't reinforce off the Swarm Lord if you're not a Tyranid, but can a Tyranid ally reinforce off the Swarm Lord? Does decapture that point, so that's double capture against the Tyranids. So what, basically what I'm saying is, the Swarm Lord locked to yourself for reinforcements, or locked to Tyranids for reinforcements. Okay, yep, they sure can. Perfect. Also benefit from Synapse. Ooh, very nice. So double Tyranid makes sense, being affected by a teammate Synapse and other Swarm Lord abilities. Very nice. Look there, jumps on in, does get spotted by these forces, and the... Uh, Got Purgatus being activated there. Gains great hits there. Knocks down the Lifter Alpha. Carnifex with the uh, anti vehicle Carnifex or anti infantry Carnifex going from the melee. Trying to get some good damage on the Beyblade. The Beyblade's can see a bit of fire there. And the Mortal Quizzer's going to recapture the central VP. Got to capture against the uh, against the uh, humans. But when a single capture and this one will be recaptured. This point's being recaptured as well by the chosen plague range. They should be able to survive the plant transformation, but no! It does go ahead and stop the decapture there, and the northern point is being decapture stop being captured by the Tyranna formation. No, no, he does actually capture it up entirely. He does manage to save it. And that point will be captured on up very, very close. Looks like they not they knocked around like three of the models, not all four of them. The game's still going. The game is still going. I thought this would stop the capture, but it didn't. Got the uh, drop pod there. But I don't think you'll probably be able to decapture the point, but you probably won't be able to pull the capture. No, it's scenery run and use the red points to keep that thing secure so it does manage to capture the point. This game is still anybody's game. But the Stormtrooper is harassing this point here, which is great for the humans. More Stormtroopers being deployed now by the Lord Inquisitor. And you got the perfect ability. What's that? Massive. Uh, yeah, that's a massive stun and damage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a powerful ability, that's for sure. Tyranids down the center tickets. This point is being decaptured, and that point being de wait, it's just a single capture. This point has also been decaptured. Called in more orbital reinforcements, but does manage to kill them off quickly as well. And yep, that is the end of the replay. Looks like the Tyranids have surrendered. They used up all the red points, just trying to dogpile everything in because they ran out of forces. They only had one Termogon force left on the map. But either way, this is Anne Grade saying thank you for watching and signing off.